So the latest project I've been working on is about trying to create structures that can reconfigure their shape in order to adapt to different environments and use cases. So by taking some kind of 3D shape that we want to print uh, and dividing it up into these 3D components, which we call voxels, what we've been trying to do is to embed a kind of actuator into each of these voxels called electromagnets. And we're using these magnets to let these voxels move with respect to each other. And so by letting these different modules um, move, we are able to reconfigure one shape into any other arbitrary 3D shape. So in terms of near-term near applications, um, one environment we've been thinking a lot about is space. It turns out that everything you launch to space has to fit within the confines of a rocket. And so if a rocket is only three meters in diameter, that means that the thing that you launch to orbit has to also be smaller than three meters in diameter. And so by leveraging the reconfigurability we're working on in this project, We've been looking at making space structures that can be discretized in this way. So taking a space structure, dividing it into these voxels, package it inside a rocket, and then once it's on orbit, have it unpack itself and only take on its large, sparse, functional shape once it's in orbit. So this lets us take very, very large structures and package them into very, very small spaces for launch. So one of the main things we wanted to do with this project was to show that we can use these very, very simple and inexpensive electromagnets um, to actually pivot these voxels, these cubes, with respect to each other. And so we have a setup in the lab that consists of an air table, which is uh, very similar to an air hockey table that you would see in an arcade. And we put our cubes on top of this air table, and by um, creating these little air cushions underneath each cube, we're able to simulate microgravity conditions. And so we put them next to each other on this table uh, and fire up the electromagnets. We can let them uh, pivot uh, with respect to each other in order to acquire different shapes. There's a tremendous amount of work going into creating advanced machines like robots um, today. Um, but a lot of these machines are still very, very difficult and complex and therefore expensive to make. And so I think there's lots of really great benefits um, that would come to society if we had, for example, um, robots that were able to help us with our day-to-day -day tasks, whether that's, you know, um, helping uh, someone to cross the street that wasn't able to do it on their own or driving you autonomously from place A to place B. People at large won't really be able to utilize those benefits. Um, unless we make these machines actually cheaper to manufacture and utilize. And so um, I'm very excited about looking at how to make pieces of hardware like robots easier to design and fabricate, um, and also to cater them to individual needs and interests.